you know, theory on really supporting people and trying to, you know, f figure out how much rope can I give them to become the person that they truly have the potential to become. I think that developing that discipline and also back to what you were saying about diet, you know, your, your diet or your supplementation or your lack thereof has a massive impact on your capacity to function optimally. And that includes your, your, your mental state. Because we know, um, and you're probably well aware of this, that <clears throat> you know, there's a very interesting study by MIT in 2016. Um, they published a study that, that irrevocably proved that the amygdala in the brain, where we feel emotion, is the sole gateway to the hippocampus to where our memory is stored. Right? So there's, there's essentially one corridor that we can travel down to enter our memory. And it is through the hippocampus. It's through the emotional state of the body. So in other words, your current emotional state does determine what memories you retrieve. The memories that you retrieve also project into your conscience and help determine your future. So your current emotional state, if it determines what memories you retrieve and your memories you retrieve determine what projects into your conscience, then it really means that your current emotional state determines your future. So if we could help people get control of their emotional state, which begins with having the right raw materials and the right physiology in your body, so you actually can experience the full spectrum of emotion, then I think you give people a better shot at walking into the future that they want to design for themselves. But if you don't learn to control your emotional state, you'll never control your future. I agree so aggressively. I'm getting cramps. 